All right, what up, too? Um, coming at you. Had a good day today, so figured I'd come in and check on some things with the car. Um, I put the uh, rear on, the rear rims on, um, just to get an idea of how far they poke out and how much I'm gonna have to uh, cut that axle down. Um, I think the rim itself, the style, I think I'm really gonna like. Um, really fits the car um it does sit out quite a bit which obviously um, i'm gonna do some cutting anyway um shortening up the axle and all that stuff but um one of my other concerns was um the bolt holes themselves um so this is the type of lug that i was running before see how it has that bevel um, and it was good for these because it just kind of sits right in in that bevel there and locks it in place but These here it's flat. So if you can see I had to use um, a BMW. I mean sorry a Range Rover style and um, What that did was that has the washer. So it's a flat in the washer um, So I put that on now the threads themselves I don't like them, they're a little short for me. Um, in the hub size, you can see it fits in the hub. Um, the Range Rover that I was on, you could tell where the Range Rover sat. It sat right about the same spot where this Chevelle sits. Um, so I'm not worried about that being able to seat on the hub. I probably got about this much of it sitting on the hub. Um, and it gives you a little play just in case your car has a, a longer um, um, hub bore. But, um, so what I did with these is, I think I showed you guys before, but, um, I purchased longer studs, so I'm going to just take out those studs when I get a chance, and I'm going to put these studs in. Um, these are longer, I'll have way more thread to, uh, to screw it onto, um, just for safety reasons. Now, if you can see how far it sticks out, this is a side view, side profile, and you can see how much it sticks out. Um, it's probably maybe about uh, anywhere between three and a half to four and a half inches that it sticks out which um, again once I shorten the axle that'll give me an idea but to really get good measurements of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually uh, take the axle out put them where I want them to go and then measure from um, from uh, the wheel to wheel and that'll give me how much long, how the length of it, and then I'll be able to, my guy will be able to shorten it out to the specs that I need. Um, calculating the brakes and all that. Um, I am gonna switch out the drum brakes. Um, probably when I have my guy do my axle, I'll probably switch out them drums um, since it's already gonna be a part and then put everything back together. But I wanna make sure my measurements is, is A1 because I just want him to cut once and be able to order my um, my shafts and everything only once and I have to send them back so yeah like I said man you can get an idea of how how much I'm gonna have to go in but all in all the style of it you know style of it is good and um, it's sitting it's sitting a lot high right now um, I'm going to uh, obviously lower it when I get a chance, um, some lowering springs. First, what I'm gonna do is probably cut them because um, I'm, I'm not gonna use those springs. So I'll probably just cut them to the length that I want and then measure those and then seeing about getting some either adjustables, that's what I really want. But if the money is not in the in the cards for some adjustables, then um, get, some, get some that are uh, already that size or just run the cut ones just until I can uh, order some adjustable so yeah too just you know stay tuned um just i had a good day today so it's like 60 degrees out here today in ohio so um i figured i'd come out here and, and take advantage of it but anyway just stay tuned too when i holla at you all right too again uh come back at you um guys remember had the hood, um, the SLP hood, the um, Camaro hood, 
um, scoop in there or the um, the hood vent in there from the uh, the uh, newer newer style um, ZR1 or the ZL1 Camaro Z70 whatever those Camaros the big boy Camaros got the y'all remember I put the SLP hood in but and then um, one of the last videos I showed y'all the um, hood hinge poppers uh, that I had brought for them. Um, I ended up sending the black ones back and I got the uh, the straight aluminum ones. Um, just the, I looked at it and, and uh, I think these, the other ones, the black ones was, because they were powder coated, those was like 300. And then these, because they're not powder coated, they're just cleared over. Um, those are 250, and I don't know if I'm gonna paint them yet. So I figured I save myself 50 bucks um, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know if I'm gonna paint them yet. More than likely I will. Um, so I just want the guy to get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, I mean, it look good. I think it's, I think once you get it all flushed in and everything like that, I think. You know, you'll really get the, the good sense of how it's going to look, but um, I think that's all the customization. I mean, that's all the customization I'm going to do to this hood. Any more customization, then it's like just doing too much. But um, this is the only customizing I'm doing here. It's the only customizing. Y'all yeah, know the door handles that I got on here. It's the only customizing I'm doing to there. And then obviously I got the rims, 22s. Um, I'm not really going to be doing too much more customizing. Y'all know I'm going to be doing the uh, 2008 Malibu Dash. Um, the seats are going to be a little different, but um, yeah, things are going to be cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Now, I said think just because I might see something that can be subtle enough, but not overly aggressive um, that I might do. So yeah, just stay tuned too. Um, just wanted to give you guys a good look of the hood with the poppers. Really, I wanted to look at it, but I thought might as well just do a quick little video. But yeah, I'm gonna holla at you too.